Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 150 of the 365 day trivia road trip. This is a year full of daily 21 question random knowledge trivia quizzes. These quizzes have 20 questions up front and then at the very end of the video, there's a question 21 tiebreaker if you need to stick around for that. Thank you for watching and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. One character in this game, Otis the Owl, only appears in Dream World levels. It is one of the most downloaded mobile games worldwide and objects in the game include jellyfish and cake bombs. What is this mobile puzzle game which requires players to match colored treats in order to accrue points. The answer is Candy Crush. Question number two. This figure was best known as a steel driver who helped to finish railroads in the Virginia area. The ballad of him and his mighty hammer has been retold in song. What is the name of this American folk hero who is famous for beating a steam-powered drill. The answer is John Henry. Question number three. His works in mathematics inspired Archimedes and dealt with subjects such as three-dimensional geometry, perspective, and number theory. His theorem states that there are infinitely many primes. What is the name of this author of Elements, renowned as the father of geometry? The answer is Euclid, Euclid of Alexandria. Question number four. In this book, Greta moves in with a family in Stillwater. Greta, her children, and Captain Cook become performers, but are eventually released at the North Pole thanks to Admiral Drake. What is this book about a man who takes care of some birds who prefer the cold? The answer is... Mr. Popper's Penguins. Question number five. These two men developed the first steerable rudder to control yaw. Who are these brothers that owned a bicycle repair shop in Dayton, Ohio, but are more famous for working on flying vehicles? The Bicycle Brothers from Dayton, Ohio are Wilbur and Orville Wright. Question number six. One book by this author includes The Old Green Grasshopper, a self-proclaimed musician who is fond of the main character. This author wrote about Augustus Gloop and Willy Wonka in his Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Who is this author of Matilda and James and the Giant Peach? The answer is Roald Dahl. Question number seven. The name of this part of speech comes from Latin parts that mean two word. Most often these are made by adding the suffix ly to a word. What is this part of speech that often modifies adjectives or verbs? If it modifies adjectives or verbs, it is an adverb. Adverb is the answer. Question number eight. This band's music video for Night Changes has scenes in an Italian restaurant. They were created on The X Factor by Simon Cowell. This band's album four was the last to include Zayn Malik. What is this British boy band who sang What Makes You Beautiful?
this British boy band was One Direction. Question number nine. In one story from this figure, a girl creates jewels whenever she speaks, while her sister's mouth releases snakes. In addition to Diamonds and Toads and Puss in Boots, who was this imaginary author of many tales and nursery rhymes like Humpty Dumpty and Jack and Jill? The imaginary author was Mother Goose. Question number 10. On this date in 1929, several members of Bugs Moran's gang were killed, probably on the orders of Al Capone. This Prohibition era gangster massacre took place on what holiday? It was called the Valentine's Day Massacre. Valentine's Day is the answer. Question number 11. HIV is a member of this family of viruses that uses RNA as its genetic material instead of DNA. What is the name for this family that gets its name for its ability to work backward and create new viral DNA? The answer is a retrovirus. Question number 12. A poet wrote in this language that, Tonight I can write the saddest lines, as part of his 20 love poems and a song of despair. What language was used by Jorge Luis Borges and Pablo Neruda, writers from Argentina and Chile? That seems like a pretty easy one. The answer is Spanish. They wrote in Spanish. Question number 13. Today's actual devices with this name are misleading. Named after the fictional device that Marty McFly used to escape Griff Tannen in 2015, what are these devices manufactured by companies like Swagway that have been investigated for possible issues with the lithium-ion battery packs. The answer is hoverboards. Question 14. This president once said that speak softly and carry a big stick described his foreign policy. He was a sponsor of the National Park System and is known for founding the Bull Moose Party. Who was this president whose face is on Mount Rushmore? The answer is Theodore Roosevelt. Question 15. The famous collection of sculptures known as the Elgin Marbles came from this ancient Greek building. What is the name of the historic temple in Athens, which was mostly destroyed by the Ottoman Empire in 1687? This building was the Parthenon. Question 16. The products of this process only have half the original number of chromosomes, but can fuse to form a diploid zygote. What is the name for this form of cell division that produces four haploid gametes, contrasted with a process that produces two daughter cells? little tough one for you today. That type of cell division is meiosis. Question 17. A painting is said to adhere to this principle. If a rectangle drawn in the painting features something interesting 61.8% of the way along it. 
What is the name of this aesthetically pleasing ratio expressed as the mathematical constant phi that is common in classical artwork? The answer is the golden ratio. Question 18. Since this author was Truman Capote's research assistant, it was rumored that she contributed to his novels In Cold Blood and Breakfast at Tiffany's, and that he in turn may have ghostwritten what woman's novel To Kill a Mockingbird. Truman Capote's research assistant was Harper Lee. Question 19. After the Mexican-American War, the U.S. and Mexico agreed that Texas was U.S. territory and that much of their border would be marked by which river which flows into the Gulf of Mexico? The answer is the Rio Grande. And question 20. This body of water contains the Cayman Islands. The Virgin Islands are located in this sea which borders the east coast of Guatemala and Nicaragua. Jamaica and Puerto Rico are major islands in what sea? All of those islands are located in the Caribbean Sea. Caribbean is the answer. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Sometimes I wish you guys could see what happens behind the scenes here. Today, I was running a little bit behind. If you're watching this during the premiere, uh, well, it may even be just a little bit late. It looks like I'm supposed to air this in 15 minutes. I don't know if it'll get rendered in time. I should probably stop talking and just do it. But I recorded this episode. I'd moved some stuff around in my office, and so I hadn't plugged everything back in, apparently. I recorded the episode through question number nine, which took a lot longer than I thought I would. But when I went back to listen to it, the microphone was not plugged in. So I had to record it all over again and it threw me off and then I couldn't concentrate and then it took even longer to record one through nine and then, and then you know, nine through 20 just because I was so flustered. So I apologize if this comes out late, uh, won't happen, at, I won't say that. It will happen again, but I'll try to make it happen as few of times as possible. Anyways, here's question 21, the tiebreaker for today. Mel wants to know how long she slept if she woke up at 8.15 a.m. and went to sleep at 10.30 the night before. How long, in minutes and hours, did Mel sleep? If she went to bed at 10.30 and woke up at 8.15, she slept for nine hours and 45 minutes.